welcome to case study i can case finance professional level case study this is this is uh, another recent development in the development of uh, i can and student tree case study happened to be in this within the syllabus some years back and uh, for one reason or the other it was uh, deleted from the syllabus and for some other reasons in the course of a uh, globalization and uh, contemporaneous of uh, ICANN exams it is uh, brought back so we'll start with a uh, preambles to case study for those who may not know case studies basically the testing of uh, various other courses within the syllabus in the particular course and is is a is a majorly a practical session but before we go on we, before we start up with the practical sessions taking different cases with different scenarios who make us to understand some at least what we can call preliminary uh, knowledge or what we call background to case study or preambles to case study so preambles to case study a case study represents a body a, a body of uh, information describing a particular problem situation in an in an operational context it is an um, an amount of uh, thoughts behavior and interpersonal relationship among uh, different uh, managers employees and clients as well as an amount an account of general environmental conditions and priorities that characterize a specific decision action action field such cases are to be analyzed rather than uh, solved what we are saying in the very first paragraph is to let us understand that uh, when we say case study this case story basically represents a body of uh, information describing particular problems descri describing situations describing uh, happenings in an organization that's what we mean by organizational context and when we say happenings and organization we, we should appreciate the fact that uh, uh, any given organization has gotten uh, different uh, departments sections maybe depending on the type of organization so where is the problem coming from where is the situation arising from is it a particular department is it a particular uh, section then is it two three departments or the whole organization where we have this situation and we know that every department is manned or headed by a particular manager and there is always an interaction between the manager of every department with uh, other departments and that's why we call them functional managers and at the same time they these functional managers report to another senior boss that we call the GM or executive directors or managing directors as the case may be so if we, will have to, we want also to really appreciate that when things happen in an organization affecting various departments or a particular department affecting the the productive and production activity or affecting the relationship between these managers any of these could could spill up what to call the need for a resolution the need for a solution the need for uh, an adjustment the need for an amendment of uh, the situation or resolving the problem all this is what uh, we could be embodied that is all the problems all the situations that have necessitated the the meeting of the of the of the managers meeting of the directors meeting of the gms 
and the, uh, the, the staff to resolving a particular problem or the problems at hand is what we call a case study. So case study resolves around the following. Company problems and so many other problems. So as we go on, we we'll definitely come to appreciate the, uh, the 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 areas or the expansive areas that case study has to address. Analysis may evolve through classroom discussion or be offered in a written report. That is what we say analyzing, uh, analyzing a case study. It may be if in the classroom discussion and may be a report by a staff of an organization or the representative of an organization to a consultant, to their auditor, to uh, maybe third parties. In either form, each analysis starts with a focus in a, cent in a central issue or question representing an accurate, ref accurate uh, re reflection of the total problem or situation. That is, the analysis in, analysis in question may we have definitely have to talk about the the problem, the situation, and the analysis will take the form of uh, digging deep a bit, trying to do some uh, investigation or do some uh, further interrogation of the people around the problem or the or the situation uh, at hand. Within this definition. Alternative cause of action may be hypothesized and argumentative thesis explaining further detail of important action element of the case can then be developed. This argument should be supported by factual and interpretative evidence from the case itself not from vague generalizations and opinion a final step in the analysis may be a set of recommendation and opinions suggesting action or decision logically following such argumentation. What we are trying to say in effect is that um, there may be need for coming up with uh, what we call theories or hypotheses on a particular case study in the course of trying to resolve that case study. That is, we think out uh, alternative uh, causes of action and these alternative causes of action could be, could be a bit uh, argumentative. Argumentative in the sense that these are theories that may not have been implemented at all in that organization. And these are new theories that we intend to, to put in place. We must be able to argue for such theories. We must be able to justify the implementation of such theories. We must be able to justify the benefits accruable to the organization if such theories are implemented. Another thing with case studies is that there, there is also the need for us to be factual, factual with our argument. That is, when we argue, we must be able to come up with facts, facts as regards maybe some other organizations who have had cause to implement such theory or who has run into such problem or similar problem that we are facing at the moment. So those facts are very necessary. And apart from the facts, there must be some element of interpretation of the facts to the to the, the of the facts that we are bringing forth because when we say bringing up 
fact we uh, we should appreciate the fact that uh, in an organization we're having diverse employees diverse professionals and at the same time we must be able to make each professional each employee with a diverse experience their diverse exposures and peculiarities to be able to understand the facts we are coming up with and to be able and be, uh, be, with that with that fact we'll be able to what serve as evidence for our intended theories or our intended uh, uh, um, solutions that we are we are profiling prof to that particular problem purposes of case studies that is why do we have case studies and this purpose this purpose of case studies could be as numerous as possible which and that is we we can really not really we cannot really exhaust the purpose of case studies but for the purpose of our examination for the purpose of our knowledge at this level we will definitely have to mention some of those uh, purposes the very first one is what we call increase in awareness of environmental conditions two is a uh, adding to knowledge of organizational behavior three is a uh, strengthening strengthening abilities in identifying situational problems then four is a uh, enhancing skill in framing appropriate uh, questions then and five has to do with what improve scale of a uh, problem uh, solving taking those purposes one after the other for for explanation uh, purposes the very first one we say increase awareness of environmental conditions that is the the purpose of case case analysis is for us to be able to understand uh, what we call a uh, developmental trend developmental trend in a profession industry trade sector etc that is a, a case analysis will make us understand what is going on what's the latest happening within our profession what's the latest happening in our industry what's the latest happening in that trade what's the latest happening in a particular sector country regions even globally so with these happenings these current happenings these current trends are now depicted in a case and uh, making us making those trends to really sink to our marrow by times is depicted into a in a case because ordinarily if some trends are explained to us without being giving scenarios to without giving scenarios to them we may be not we may not be able to really comprehend those happenings uh, in totality as such cases or uh, developmental trends are are made aware are, 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 are are brought to the awareness of the people of the masses or uh, of the giving professionals in the form of a uh, case analysis and for the second point that is acts to knowledge of organizational behavior case case analysis and en answers and answers our improved knowledge about the organizational behavior 
what do we mean by this? We made us understand that uh, cases can span any area of endeavor, any proof, any area of a discipline. So when a case is brought up in an organization, it may have different dimensions to it. And one of the dimensions cases do have is uh, the organizational behavior. That is, what are the, the way, the manners and attitudes of uh, employees in that organization. And why it's we add to the knowledge of every employee or, or every participant of that uh, case analysis is the fact that a particular employee who is uh, employed in a department, especially the junior or medium, middle level staff, who are hardly to or no cause to interact in with other with other staff in other departments, especially for official interactions, may not be able to understand the behavior in that department. So as, as such. They, they have what you can call a limited understanding of the behavior available in an organization. But as every employee moves up the ladder, there is that tendency to have uh, uh, increased interaction with other departments. And as such, they now tend to understand the organizational behavior. But outside this, the, the happening of a particular problem, the the presentation of a case in hand to all employees will make every employee to have enough information about the case. And in the course of having enough information about the case in hand and uh, interacting with uh, other men, departmental members or departmental staff and even senior officers who ordinarily they had no cause of a meeting will make such employees to understand what you want to call a behavior and even if they had an element of it before it would definitely add to their to their knowledge of uh, what is meant by organizational behavior on the third point that says strengthening abilities in identifying social problems case studies also increases How does this happen? If a particular organization over time now had the, uh, the, the philosophy or the infantry or the principle of adopting what you call, what you call case analysis solution oriented orientation, that is where things happen in the organization, they make it to become a case study and it becomes what everybody within the organization brainstorm apart and with that they are able to resolve problems once that becomes a, a philosophy of the organization and approach to management uh, problems in that organization it indirectly increases the knowledge base of staff and it makes the staff to be able to identify problems in the future because being a brand of uh, case studies over a period of time expands the knowledge base of the staff widening the horizon of various staff because cases make every every staff to always think beyond his immediate profession his immediate uh, assignment his immediate uh, activity within the organization so this exposure brings out what we call creative thinking in the staff and the creative thinking ability will definitely make those such staffs to be able to identify situational problems. And once staffs are able to identify situational problems, they can be part and parcel of uh, solutions to those uh, problems. And for the part, fourth point that says enhancing skill in framing appropriate questions. This may be for say lecturers or consultants or professionals or people involved in training and uh, development or say uh, manpower development 
or for various organizations the ability or the opportunity of uh, going through cases doing case analysis over a period of a, over a period of time makes it possible for a consultant to be able to come up with questions those what we call uh, uh, imaginary questions I put that questions for an organizations that may have um, that may have uh, employed uh, appoint the consultant to come up with uh, questions similar to their problems similar to their uh, situations and that questions that will really add value to the staff and add value to the organization so being abreast of case studies will be able to assist such consultants to be able to come up with uh, such uh, questions and for the last point uh, improving skill of problem solving today's business world is uh, is a dynamic and a turbulent one that it, it, it is believed that the resolution of a particular problem also triggers a new problem so problem solving has become a continuous thing in today's business world and staff or managers who have had the opportunity of passing through case analysis of passing through case study sessions for a, a reasonable period of time become better problem solvers than those who have not had that opportunity of passing through case studies.